All right, this is going to be a video about running uh, Wilderness Run and Keep on the Borderlands to get your level 20 weapon as well as uh, some other nice items. But before I do that, I wanted to show you how the Fate Spinner worked. So this is the Fate Spinner in Keep on the Borderlands. Uh, you go up the ramp by all the heroic, uh, heroic trainers. And you speak with her, and you tell her that you would like to manipulate. Well, you, you claim your destiny first. I just went in here and did this. And so I'm going to want Unyielding Sentinel to start with. And the reason is cause, because Unyielding Sentinel, I want to get a primal life. And I want to end up in primal. And to do that, I, I will start here, work my way over here, here, here. And then eventually I'll get, I'll get these three as well and get my primal life. Uh, divine is also fine, and and I may, depending on how um, how things go, I could pivot and say, okay, I, I'm gonna switch my change my mind and instead focus on divine, and then be an unyielding sentinel for my reapers at level 30. The reason is because uh, this is a very defensive stance, so I'll have more hit points, I'll have more defenses, and so I'll be more survivable. So if survivability is an issue, I may actually pivot and move over to unyielding sentinel but uh the fury of the wild on the other hand destiny provides a lot of benefits for two-handed weapons and it, it'll make my dps much better and so that's what i'd like to do but if i you know if i can't take the hits i may have to go pivot and go back to unyielding sentinel i suspect i'll be okay and so i i, I fully expect to be able to do fury of the wild so this is what you want to do is talk to the Epic Trainer to get your destiny. And then anytime you spend a point, you'll need to come here uh, to spend your points up. up. Uh, right now, the option I have is to get Epic Destinies, which lets me get them in the store. I'm currently about 175 points short, and I should get those as I complete my heroic content at level uh, 20 and uh, at level 20. Uh, store is kind of coming up a little slow, so I'll just close it. So that's it on Epic Destinies. I'm going to go start my Keep on the Borderlands run now. And I'll pause it while I go to the gate. Alright, this is going to be my first Keep on the Borderlands run. And I have Wyo for a hireling. She's level 20. Unfortunately, all the level 18 plus hirelings uh, are without divine vitality. So I don't have a way to recharge my spell points. I use that a lot at lower levels. And, uh, you know, we'll have to see how it is. For sure at higher epic levels, I'm not going to want to be using a level 17 hireling. But we'll see how it is at some of these lower level quests. Uh, I may still use my level 17 hireling so I can recharge my spell points. Uh, once I get some some better gear, I should have a lot more spell points, and uh, you know that could potentially solve my issue. All right, let's see if Lerp is here. Nope. So, all right, this is our first fight against epic enemies. We'll see. You know, we'll see how it goes. So you can see a lot more hit points, right, compared to heroic. And, even, and this is this is normal difficulty, so they're, they're doing more damage, but it's nothing really horrendous. But uh, we'll, you know we'll want to we'll want to start a little slow because these you know enemies hit a little harder. This isn't like a normal wilderness area. All right, so let me go to or get myself oriented here and go to Keenbeak. It's over this way. So once I get my uh, once I got my keep on the Borderlands weapon, I'll be doing a lot more damage, base damage. So. Uh, 
because it's it's this weapon is currently one and a half times base damage. It's level 10. The level 20 weapons are three times base damage. But you can see I'm taking a lot of damage. My hit points are a little low for the level. Let me try to top myself off here. And so we'll see how it goes, uh, you know, with a named enemy. They're usually a little bit tougher uh, at this at this difficulty. At higher difficulties, of course, it's always the Reapers and Champions are even tougher than the bosses. And so I can't see that enemy's hit points, but it's probably over, you know, it's over a thousand, right, even on normal. All right, so we have our first named enemy. Yeah, a lot more hit points, even compared to, say, Elite. But not too bad. We're able to handle it okay. Uh, all right, no named items here. So the main thing I'm looking for is the mats to make the... Uh, to make a... Um, a weapon. All right, so let me, next up, let me go to... Last match. All right, so let me go to the spider one, see if the spider's there. Dense webs cover the trees in this dark and isolated gorge. I do have freedom of movement, so um, it protects against web, although I've found it to be a little a little unreliable in that regard. Alright, I don't see the boss there, but I guess I might as well finish these two enemies off. And I'm not really going for the explorers. I'm getting some, uh, but I'm trying to save that experience, some experience for when I get to my epic destinies. You can see it's pretty fast. I already have 8,500 experience, which is more than we're getting in quests. You know, most of the time. So um, the experience is a lot higher at epic levels compared to heroic levels. Nope, I can hear something coming. I don't want to get I don't want to aggro too many enemies. Again, it's the, they're not they're not it's not too bad. We're we're able to handle it fine. But um They're definitely hitting, you know, they're hitting a little harder and uh oop, hmm, That one stop signed, I think. With the keep under siege, the local lizard folk have grown bold. They've built a camp down by the water, right in the center of the valley. command. I better get my protection from evil on. So Wyo took a lot of damage there, but my uh, my Holy Retribution is still working pretty good.
right, so let me see if I can find the crest. There it is. And it seems like there's more lizard folk than there was on the uh, heroic side of things, for sure, which kind of makes sense, you know. There uh, usually is the case in most epic quests. This was once a great and impressive tower, but it was reduced to rubble in a battle long ago. All right, there's no rare here. We're just kind of looking for the crust. Actually, let me just... Yep. All right, so we're gonna, a little hard to see because of the, I'm just gonna pause it here real quick and take a short break. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. And I'm uh, heading to the next rare now. So there's two, two rares that are really close to each other. Uh, there's a river crab that's kind of near this area. And then there's the um, dinosaur ahead, which is clearly there. You can could, you could see it ahead there, long tailing. So uh, I don't know if these two could ever be together at the same time. I've never seen them both here. I think it's like a one or the other, but uh, let's see. I'm gonna renew my buff since I was on the phone for a little while. Okay. And so this is epic nor uh, effectively considered epic normal level 21 difficulty. So we have a ways to go to build our power up to handle epic quests. And the drop rate here is roughly 10%. So in 10 chests or one wilderness run, you can expect to get one thing. Um, uh, you know, the other drop rate was certainly nice. In uh, Heroic, it was 100%. But uh, this is, you know, it's not too bad, so. So my plan is to get the weapon, and then uh, once I get the weapon, I'll stop the wilderness, and then uh, I will pick it up again. Oh, let's better help her out with this giant gnat swarm.
think she just drank a potion, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like a mnemonic potion. I just saw her get about 300 spell points. And there's a shrine coming up, which which I need. I, I do uh, a little low. And it looks like school crusher's there. Cool. Well, let's get this crab wolves first. but uh, at least at Epic Normal, this guy's not hitting me really all that hard, 19, 20 a hit. All right, so I got my uh, a token, a feather, which I really don't need at this point. Arcane ingot, I wish it was the other kind, but I'll take it. We could always use those to craft level 20 weapons to just feed to our sentient weapon once we have it. So the one we want is the silver ingot. And so I figure it might take, you know, a couple runs to get it. Never got this guy in heroic, so it's kind of cool to get him. Let me the slicer. Uh, no items. All right, and I'm pretty sure I want to be going up this way here. So this is where the rare would be if he was here.
these guys have a lot more hit points, but certainly a lot less damage than Reaper Vine Blights at level 12 we're doing even. You find a grave here in the brush. All right, no rare here.
And this is the quests, Keep in the Borderlands quests. Level 21 on Epic. And so I, I got two of the three quest, crests, but I was in the spider area, but didn't get the crest there. So I'm going to need to run back and get that crest. I think I'm going to do that first. Small fisherman's shack stands deserted on the riverbank. The rest of the way should be pretty clear, so I'm just going to hop on my horse and try to do this, get there faster. And there it is, I just used Q to find the crest.
lot of things. Let me, let me clear this out. Actually, I think I should probably be okay. Someone's plans for a nice, quiet picnic on this island came to an unexpected end. And so the map was, uh, I got all the explorers on Heroic, and the map was uncovered. I'll have to get them again on Epic if I want to be able to see the map, the full map. Which I probably will do once I get my Epic Destinies, but I don't want to, don't want to do it until I get my uh, Epic Destinies available. So already this is about 45,000 experience. That's quite a bit, but I, I want to get that weapon. A uh, little extra damage and um, start... Feeding set weapons, to, uh, named items to it for sentient XP. get an uneasy feeling as you approach this ancient altar. Okay, good, this guy's here. Okay, Epic Silver Ingot. So that's the one I was looking for. So I'm just going to recall here. And then much like the um, Heroic, we just go to the vendor here level 20 and we say greatsword we want the silver greatsword and we have one silver ingot so we select and we get our level 20 silver ingot greatsword so now if we compare this to our level 10 that we're currently using uh, it has an epic red augment I could actually get something from giant hold uh, that would give me another 1d4 damage I think it's level 16 but I think it's probably not a bad idea I'll probably do that um, and so uh, and then I you know it's pretty easy to get these so I'll, I'll, I'll be able to get another one w and put a, a level 20 uh, or a le level 20 and get in there later but for now I think I'm gonna put the level 16 and get in there because I have the mats to do that uh, silver so it gets past silver damage reduction 
And the big thing is the base damage. So um, it's 1.75. Uh, it's actually 1.5 versus 3. So if I equip this, you'll see it changes to 3.25. That's from ship buffs. Ship buffs give us a 0.25 bonus. So when making the comparison, you have to compare that. But comparing it, comparing it, uh, you know, without all that, it would be um, 1.5 to 3. But it always gives my current equipped weapon 0.25 bonus. Uh, this also has good damage, so it has um, Righteous, that's plus 2-2 two, two attack and damage against evil creatures, but the big thing is it makes a good line, so we could use it on Devils, we can use it on, you know, any, anything else uh, that we want. And uh, also the, the crit, crit range is the same, it's just that, again, it's only Holy Sword, it's showing what's currently equipped, so I'd, I'd have to equip it, uh, use my Holy Sword to get it to, to, to show up, but it is the same crit. Destruction, Righteous, um, you know, the Holy Three, Fiery, you know, that part's a little bit better. Unnatural Bane will be good against uh, Monstrous Humanoids, Aberrations, Undead. But I think the big thing is going to be the base damage. Is going to be it, it goes from 1.5 to 3. So I want to try that out. I, I, I guess my theory is that that's going to be a lot better. And that that'll be our main weapon kind of going forward. And that... that uh, you know, maybe situationally some other weapons will be used, but this would be the main weapon. Uh, all right, so I'm going to pause it while I go to Giant Hold. All right, so, um, you know, again, not ideal to be putting a level 16 and a level 20 weapon, but it's a pretty low investment uh, weapon in, in the sense I can get another one of these. And so I want to get a ruby, and so um, there's a lot of devils coming up. They're resistant they're immune to fire energy to fire resistant to cold uh heavily resistant to cold and demons are immune to electric uh resistant to fire and cold so i'm probably just going to go with either shock or acid uh if you know uh, either one is good the other option i would have would be to put a devotion in here which would help myself healing some and that might actually not be a bad option because that gives me, currently I'm at, uh, let's see, where, where did I put the, uh, so here's Healing Lord 10, Devotion 70, so that's not really a big improvement. Uh, <clears throat> and maybe I'll get a better devotion item, uh, but I couldn't. I didn't. Don't think there's any in the gear set I wanted. So that's, you know, it's a small amount. One d4 is pretty small. So I'm probably going to stick this in there. Uh, I have enough for one more augment if I want it later. But there's really nothing I'm looking for. So that one in my small augment bag. My small augment bag holds up to 15. I have nine things in there. The zephyrs I bought from the auction house. It looks like I got an improved frost from a drop, and then now this devotion. So I'm gonna just stick this devotion in there. I think that's probably a good, a good use. And so the way I use that is putting this down. And even though it's not an improvement, um, I'm sort of thinking ahead in terms of gear swaps that I won't have anything at all, and, and this is better than nothing. All right, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna slide all this down. And I move this old weapon here, and I'm gonna put this new weapon here. And my assumption that this is gonna be better, so I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go back to keep on the Borderlands, and just run uh, to the first couple of chests just to check out DPS with this new weapon. All right, I'm just gonna go uh, maybe check one or two rares out just to just to basically test out the damage of this new weapon uh, with double the base damage. Let me get my hireling because I definitely need a hireling in here, even though it's considered normal difficulty
This has damage reduction, so I can't really tell. I'll need to get an enemy without damage reduction, because I don't remember what I was getting on these hits, but I mean, I'm sure it was less, but... More giant swarms, they have damage reduction, so not a good test. Let's check out this wolf. the same setup I had before. All right. All right, so definitely bigger numbers, much bigger numbers. Yeah, significantly more base damage, so that's good. Sure what type of uh, I'm not sure what type of damage reduction these giant swarms have, but it sort of makes sense that a sword's not super effective against them. You know what, my Holy Sword wasn't even working there because uh, I didn't cast it on that weapon even though it was showing up on my buff bars for the other weapon. So let me run some more here. No, rare, not rare, this rare is not here. Webline snare. All right, that's fine. Blight. Yeah, so that's like, crit, now we're seeing the higher crit damage. I was noting my crit damage was low and I couldn't figure out what, if it was just my, my Fort. Yeah. So now numbers that used to be in the 200s are like the 300s, and numbers that were in the 60s are in the 90s. So it's definitely a lot more damage. And uh, you know, I don't like giving up the 3d6 fiery, but those things don't scale. Uh, they just they're pretty small numbers. So this scales with crits, so it's it's a much more important number. And you know. All right, so none of the rares are here, but I think I've, I've got enough testing in uh, to see it's a pretty big improvement. So I'll use that as my main weapon for now. And that's it. So that is getting to keep on the Borderlands uh, weapon. And the next video is going to be um, how to make it sentient so you could start giving it an XP.